Has anybody seen a project that looks like this before? Where you have script tags, like a ton of script tags? I, I, this is actually one of my old projects. It is a nightmare <laughs> to um, have, have to manage all of these script tags. Um, and part of the reason that this is such a, like, a terrible thing is because um, these scripts are running in order, and so you need to have them like, sorted in the way that like, they need to be so that the app actually loads. Um, like if there's a dependency between one script and another, you need to make sure that uh, the dependent script uh, loads after. Um, so yeah, this is one of the problems that Webpack solves uh, for sure. Uh, lots of you in the um, in the pre-event uh, survey mentioned that you're using Grunt or Gulp right now, and you want to compare Webpack with that, um, or or you want to see how they can work together, or see how you can avoid it altogether. Uh, so with Webpack, I have uh, I started using Webpack just over a year and a half ago, and I haven't used I I went from like nothing to Grunt to Gulp to Webpack. And ever since I started using Webpack, I haven't needed Grunt or Gulp at all. Um, and the reason for that is, um, like, if you try to think of what are the, some of the things that you do with Grunt or Gulp, um, like, what, um, like, why are those things useful? Well, you're going to concatenate your JavaScript and minify it. You're going to do the same to your CSS. Um, like, there, there are various things that you're trying to do to, like, generate optimized assets for your web application, right? So you have your JavaScript, your CSS, even fonts, um, HTML, images, SVGs, like everything, all these assets for your application. The reason that with Webpack you don't need these uh, task runners anymore is um, because Webpack takes care of all of this for you. Um, and what it, the, the way that it accomplishes this is by turning everything into a module. You just think conceptually, that, um, yes, JavaScript is a module, like each file you can think of as a module pretty easily, but uh, uh, CSS, uh, Webpack considers CSS to be a module just like a JavaScript file. So uh, not only that, but it, it also enables you to use CommonJS, AMD, or um, ES6 imports, so these different module uh, styles, to uh, make your dependencies explicit. Uh, and that is really a, a powerful concept as well because now it's not a matter of loading the right scripts in the right order, but you just say, this is my main file, and then it has dependencies, and all you care about is that main file, um, and then uh, Webpack will, will fix it all up for you and give you one file that you just load into the browser, and, um, and then you can minify that and, and um, optimize that for, for delivery for your application. So, um, but it, it takes it a step further, like I said, to uh, CSS, where CSS are modules, and now you can take the CSS modules and uh, make those dependencies explicit. Um, and same with fonts, and with HTML, and images, and SVGs. Everything is a module. And that's like one of the most important pieces of Webpack. Uh, 